But if you missed the Champions League draw, where were you? Because that was probably one of the most epic lives that we, we have ever done on this channel. The breaking news tonight is obviously that Celtic are in the Champions League. They are in Group E with Feyenoord, Atletico Madrid, Lazio and Celtic. But first of all, we need to talk about Celtic have knocked back an offer this evening for a Celtic player. They've rejected a £10 million offer from Leeds United for Matt O'Reilly. Um, it did say that, the, uh, that it has been suggested in the last couple of days that it would come back in with another offer from Matt O'Reilly. They've came in with a bid of £10 million. Celtic have batted it back out the window. We'll talk about that in a, in a minute. We need to talk about Nate Phillips. Welcome to Celtic, Nate Phillips. And uh, Nat Phillips, welcome to Celtic. You've just signed for Celtic. And uh, he's moved to basically ease. I need to calm down a bit because that live was absolutely amazing. He's, he's came into Celtic to ease the injury crisis in defence. He has only signed until January next year. The 26-year-old who's made 29 appearances for Liverpool in the first team. He's been known to Brendan Rodgers since he came through the academy at Liverpool. He's obviously going to be back up to Cameron Carter, Vickers and Rocky um, and even maybe even Stephen Welsh. But I think he'll probably get a game before Stephen Welsh. But the fact that he's going to come in and he's going to play just now. Phillips will compete with Gustav Lagerbilke and Liam Skills, uh, who both started la last weekend. I think if anyone's going to drop out, it's probably going to be Skills at Ibrox, I would have thought. you won't going to come in with Phillips, who's just a, a little bit more experienced age-wise. And then the fact that he's played for Liverpool and he's done quite well. Uh, when he played for Liverpool in those 29 appearances because he actually co uh, he came in for cover when they went through a defensive injury crisis of their own and he did quite well for them then. The defender, uh, Phillips, has obviously had previous stints at Bournemouth and Stuttgart. It was initially thought that he was going to go back to Stuttgart. Uh, he told Celtic TV, I'm really excited. When I heard about the interest, this is the one that got me excited. He said, this is the one that got me excited. I knew there was only one place that I wanted to go. He says, although it's just a short-term contract, he said, there were another few options, but didn't quite make me feel the same as this one did. I'm really keen to get over, get it over the line. He says, now that I'm here, delighted. I'm absolutely delighted to be done. He says, it's a huge club with huge aspirations. We are in the Champions League and they've got a Champions League mentality they've got a winner's mentality and that's the kind of club that he wants to come to remember the clubs that he will be involved in the Champions League with with Celtic will be Feyenoord fantastic away game Atletico Madrid we were at Madrid last year we we'll go back to Madrid Lazio Papa Francesco that video that went absolutely viral on YouTube Celtic fans kept behind in the game singing Papa Francesco will be repeated again God bless the Pope's 11, says some of the Celtic fans on the live this evening. If you missed the live, go back. And what I'll probably do is I'll take the short segment from the live and then I'll put it up because the, the moment that we got the draw, the moment was absolutely amazing on the channel. Anyway, Celtic go to Rangers this weekend. There is no away fans. We all know the reason that there isn't any away fans. The fact that one of their fans aren't safe and Rangers did reduce the away allocation back in 2018 when Celtic were winning absolutely everything. So, it's been well documented that we need a defender in. We have got that defender in. Another player that is in the country is a 21-year-old from Benfica. He could be paraded tomorrow morning in the Celtic colours. Bernardo, he is coming in and with a loan move and it looks like it could be similar circumstances in which Jota came to the club um, just a couple of years ago. It could be a loan to buy option and I hope it is because if he's half as good as Jota um, you know we're going to have a player on his hands a player that can't play in midfield so first of all we'll, we welcome Nat Phillips to the club tomorrow morning we're going to get Portuguese Bernardo in the door it is all down to will we manage to get a keeper and a left back within the next 24 hours there is just over 24 hours left in the transfer window tell me your thoughts about the Champions League draw are you going to games in the Champions League? Will you be going to try and go to an away game in the Champions League this year? Where do you fancy? Do you fancy going to Italy? Do you fancy going to Spain? Or, or will you go to Feyenoord? Feyenoord will be an amazing game for fans to go to. Um, I think Celtic will take a big, big sport, a big, big support to Feyenoord. That will be one of the, the, the most memorable one fans-wise because there are two sets of fans that do get on with each other. Uh, the fact that Phillips has just joined on a half-season half loan, um, 
it, it is fantastic for Celtic, let's face it, because he did have a lot of choices. He had a choice to go back to to the back to Germany. He also had a chance to go to Saudi Arabia. But as soon as he knew that Celtic was coming in, he said that was it. He wants to go back. He wants to go back to working with Brendan Rodgers, you know, and it does help us with the team. We do have Cameron Carter-Vickers, who's out for eight weeks. He will be back. By that time, we'll be into the Champions League game, so we're going to miss him for the first couple of games in the Champions League. Will he manage to get fit enough? You know, we really needed a player that we could trust, that Brendan could trust, and he seems to have got his man. And other Celtic transfer news this evening, Celtic have turned a down a bid from Leeds United for Matt O'Reilly. They made a bid of 10 million. They did make a bid the other day that was undisclosed, but they have made a bid of 10 million. They thought that that might be enough to test the resolve of Celtic. It hasn't been. Celtic have turned down the offer for the 22-year-old midfield player, and it's, it, Matt's not going to go anywhere. He's not definitely going to go down and go to Leeds United. It's too late in the window. You made the, it too late in the day. I think if they came in with a 20 million offer, if they came in with a 20 million offer tomorrow, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They got relegated from the English Premiership. There's absolutely no chance can I see them coming in with a 20 million pound offer for Matt O'Reilly. Maybe if they came in, you know, I think they might go to 15 max tomorrow. That will test the nerve of Celtic. But, you know, for the fact that he has been doing quite well under Brendan Rodgers so far, he likes the way that Brendan Rodgers has gotten playing. He is still only 22 year old. You know, he will prefer to play in the Champions League this year. And remember, the Champions League is where it all matters. There is only one Scottish club in the Champions League. I'll go through the draw again in case you missed the draw. It was a group of nerves. It was a game of nerves when we were watching it on the live. Obviously, Group A is Bayern, Man United, Copenhagen, Galatasaray. Group B, Seville, Arsenal, PSV and Lens. Group C, Napoli. A lot of people wanted Napoli. Real Madrid, Braga and Union Berlin. Joseph Juranovic goes back to Madrid just like he did last year. Group D is Benfica, Inter Milan, Salzburg and Real Sociedad. The big one, the big one is Group E and Celtic were second last out the pot. And if you're watching it on this channel, the tension was unbelievable. We did say before the pots got picked, we said Celtic will all, they'll always end up when they're in pot four, they're about last out the pot. And they were second last out the pot today. The tension was unbelievable. What pot would we get? It was only down to two pots. We got Feyenoord, Atletico Madrid, Lazio and Celtic. Group F is Paris, St. Germain, Dortmund, Milan, and Newcastle. It was a hard group for Newcastle. Group G is Man City, Leipzig, Cerveza, and uh, Young Boys. Group H is Barcelona, Porto, Shakhtar, Donetsk, and Antwerp. But it's all about Celtic. Tell me what you think about that draw. I personally think there's some cracking away games there. You know, we get to go to Fire North. Celtic fans will love that as a away game. Back to Madrid, it'll be a, a different Madrid ground this time. But it's back to Madrid. There will be some a good amount of fans go there. And Lazio, Lazio will be a fantastic game. Papa Francesco, we are on the road again, Celtic fans, in the Champions League. And on that note, have a fantastic evening, Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the